is a first alert weather day. I'm meteorologist Jana Brown and I have your Friday night storm update. We've got this winter storm. All the warnings have already begun across Western Mass and we do have winter storm warnings up for especially northern counties. Franklin County, actually most of Hampshire County is under this warning, but it's mostly for the high elevations. Northern Berkshire County and also Western Handing County under our winter storm warning. That's going to last out through at least Saturday afternoon, possibly into Saturday evening. Now close to and south of the Mass Pike, snow amounts are expected to be much lower than farther off to the north. So we do have winter weather advisories instead of warnings out for southern Berkshire County and most of Hamden County. It's the high elevations that will definitely see a little bit more snow. And in areas where you have pink, it's more than likely you'll see around or above six inches. Highest amounts should be up around the Route 2 corridor with this system and definitely into the northwestern hill towns. So as we take a look at some of your forecasts going forward, we are expecting uh, some snow to be on the heavy side at times overnight tonight. There is the chance that we do change over to more of a wintry mix through sunrise on Saturday. So the bulk of our accumulation actually falling overnight. Snow has already started. It turns heavy quickly, low visibility, definitely some treacherous travel conditions out there as roads get coated. Then as we transition over to some sleet overnight from south to north, now we've got more of that icy slushy condition out on the roads too. So definitely hazardous travel. Now Saturday morning we're still dealing with falling sleet, possibly even mixing in with rain from time to time across the lower valley. Then we'll go back over to snow showers. And while we have falling snow expected through at least Saturday morning into the afternoon, it's doubtful we'll have any additional accumulation compared to what we've got. So it looks like temperatures will climb above freezing. That's also going to help to keep snow from accumulating as well as the higher sun angle this time of year. Roads will turn wet and slushy and then eventually those roads Road conditions will improve throughout the afternoon. Tomorrow evening we are staying cloudy, but it looks like any flurries and snow showers will come to an end early. We're also going to be dealing with some pretty healthy wind gusts throughout the day on Saturday. Wind will be out of the east northeast tonight and then going into Saturday morning. Wind will start taking a shift to the north. That's when we'll get some of our stronger gusts across the valley could get up to about 30 miles an hour and then wind will start easing up for Saturday night. So as we take a look at the 10 day forecast, we are expecting the snow to again and start tapering off Saturday evening. We go into the rest of the weekend. It's looking dry. There's not much going on weather wise. Uh, it will stay a little brisk and that's expected to continue out through Monday. We will see plenty of sunshine though. Then our next little round of wet and wintry weather is going to approach as we go into Monday night and Tuesday. Now that is going to be a minor system, but could bring some minor travel inconveniences Tuesday morning. Then as we continue throughout the rest of the week, things are looking dry and fairly quiet. We could be talking more rain and snow as we go toward next weekend. But in terms of this storm system, we're expecting moderate impacts across Western Mass. The highest impact level is going to be getting up into the northwestern hills where we could pick up a foot of snow. The other factor is the wind. Wind out of the east overnight tonight could gust as high as 40, 45 miles an hour in the Berkshires, and that could lead to some spotty damage or even power outages, especially with the heavy pack of snow that you're expecting. So snow will start mixing in with sleet from south to north. I would say south of the Mass Pike will start mixing first, and then we'll see possibly that sleet making its way up to the Route 2 corridor. But where you have all these warnings farther north, North, that's where you're going to see more snow than sleet. Where you have the advisories, that's definitely more of a wintry mix, and we'll see that down into northern Connecticut too. So if you're planning on doing some traveling early tomorrow morning, if you're headed north, you're definitely running into more of a snowstorm. If you're headed farther south, you will see more of an icy wintry mix that will change over to rain. So the difference between the hill towns and the valley uh, is pretty typical with our system. We've got slightly colder temperatures across the higher elevations. With wind coming in out of the east, we're going to get what's called enhancement. So it's actually going to bring in more moisture due to that flow of wind going straight up the hill towns. Uh, so they're expecting just higher amounts of precipitation in general, which should be a fluffier snow. Now the valley won't have much wind to deal with overnight tonight. Plus with wind coming in out of the east, a process called shadowing tends to occur. And that east wind kind of cuts off our precipitation a little bit in the valley. So we will actually just end up seeing lower amounts of wet weather. But this is a big storm. It's got a lot of power to it and it is going to bring some rounds of heavier snow during the overnight. 
Looking at our future cast, you can see it's all blue, which is all indicating snow. But the pink starts to get closer to us as we head into the overnight. It's about 3 o'clock in the morning. You see some really heavy rain down toward the I-95 corridor. Our low pressure system will move off to the east by Saturday morning. Colder air kind of circles in behind the low and we'll start to see a transition back to all snow. But like we already talked about, that snow is unlikely to stick and continue to accumulate thanks to the higher sun angle and again those temperatures coming back up above freezing. Saturday night looking dry, maybe a little bit of partial clearing going into early Sunday. So your 24, that close view up of your future cast and note the temperatures too. Falling down to around freezing, we've got snow falling. It looks like the heaviest snowfall is going to be during the overnight, but temperatures never really get that cold in the valley. So this might end up being more of a slushy snow, especially once the sleet starts mixing in. Now as you get up into the northwestern hills, while you may have a little sleet, your temperatures will probably hold in the upper 20s. So Overall, you're just going to end up seeing more precipitation, especially if it keeps snowing and you avoid any sleet altogether. Then by early Saturday morning, 7 a.m., 34 degrees in Springfield with a little rain possible. That is definitely one solution. It is a possibility that that happens, and that's going to cut our snow amounts even lower. Then again, we'll see that transition back over to snow as Saturday morning keeps going. Temperatures are going to come back to the mid-30s. We could even have more of a wintry mix at times during the day. So again, road conditions will improve as the day goes on for sure. Now, as we go into Saturday night, again, some partial clearing temperatures on Sunday expected to hit low 40s like we saw in the 10 day, and that will help to do a little bit of melting. So finally, we're going to end this with your snowfall forecast. I would say the highest amounts of snow will again occur in the northwestern hills, western Franklin, possibly up here toward, uh, you know, northwestern parts of Hampshire County, especially elevations above 1500 feet. I think you could pull it you know, a foot, maybe even up to 13 or 14 inches. So I think you could overperform in those areas. Most of the hill towns, most of Franklin County picking up about six to 10 inches. Once you hit central Hampshire County, I would say you're going to be closer to five or six. When you get down to the Springfield area, you're going to be closer to three or four. And I think right along the Connecticut border, that's where we'll see the lowest amounts close to three inches. So it's really not that big of a storm for Hamden County. It's really more into the hills and getting up toward the Route 2 corridor that you're going to have the biggest concerns. So again, expect difficult travel conditions throughout the rest of tonight. Expect things to improve throughout the day tomorrow, though precipitation will continue to fall and the end of our weekend will dry out and we'll end up seeing a little bit of melting by the end of the weekend as well. Be sure to join us for Western Mass News tonight at 10 on Fox 6 and 11 o'clock on CBS and ABC. We'll see you then for more updates.